Hey guys, it's Riley. It feels really, really, really weird to be sitting here and talking to you like this right now. Yes, hi, this is my regression channel. You're not on my other channel, but I'm not regressed when I'm talking to you right now, and there is a reason for that. Judging by the title, you already know that this video is going to be about dealing with a regression rut or not really being able to regress, which is something that I have been dealing with way, way more recently than I have ever and way more than I would like to admit. The last few months have been pretty hard for me in terms of regression. I just haven't been <laughs> regressing as much and it really sucks because it's not for lack of wanting to or lack of needing to because I absolutely have been needing to. I just haven't been able to. My brain has not been able to get there and it has sometimes for a little bit like maybe 10-15 minutes at a time but then it's like that feeling is immediately gone and I feel gross and it's just not good. I am pretty much always regressed when I film for this channel, but what really sucks is that the only time I've been regressing recently is when I'm filming for this channel. And it is absolutely my genuine regression. When I am behind the camera and I am here talking, I am always regressed. And I love that because I love being genuine and I love being able to share this special part of my life with you guys. But it kind of sucks when I'm not really having any alone time or just time with my daddy or anything like that where I'm being small and doing small things and staying in that small headspace. And this is something that is really, really frustrating for me to go through. Because regression is such a big part of my life, it's been such a big part of my life for the last almost six years, it really sucks that right now it just feels and seems like I can't use my number one coping mechanism. And it's not because I don't want to, it's just because my brain won't let me. And I know that some of you are going through the same thing right now. I have some mutuals on my regression Instagram. Instagram that are also going through a similar thing, so I figured, let me sit down, let's make this video and have an honest chat about it. My intention was to film a Q&A video today, I got questions from a bunch of you, but it just didn't feel right to do that and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to regress even enough for the video. So hopefully we will film that next week and that will be out for you next Sunday. But back to the topic, without regression I am way more stressed. I'm way way more stressed out because my regression is usually my form of stress relief where it's I can just be a baby, I can be small, and it's a good time. But without it, a lot of the adult stresses in my life have been piling up way more than what I can personally manage. And even when I do regress frequently, I can still deal with my adult life. I still have my adult life. I still do all the adult responsibilities and things that I have to do. I'm just way less stressed <laughs> if I get to regress. So my stress levels have been out the absolute wazoo. I've been sad. My depression has gotten worse. I haven't talked about it a bunch on this channel about regression and mental health. I don't know if I have a video on that or not. If I don't, expect one to be coming because I think that's very important to talk about. But my regression helps me cope so much with the stuff that I have been diagnosed with and not being able to regress recently has really had an effect on my mental state in general. And one of the things that makes it worse is that that the things that usually used to help me regress aren't helping in this moment. One of the biggest things I recommend and that I used to do all the time was if you feel like you can't regress, immerse yourself in it. Get dressed small, do small things, watch small things because you will eventually feel it. And most of the time that is true and most of the time that is something that works, at least for me. But recently it hasn't really been working, which really, really, really sucks. And it just seems and feels that no matter what I do, both voluntarily and involuntarily, I just I can't get into the headspace and I don't know why and it's so so beyond frustrating and I think part of it is because I have really high expectations for myself and I feel like oh but if I regress that means I have to make content that I have to take pictures and stuff and that's not true because I don't owe anybody anything I do not have to post on Instagram or be active on my regression count accounts even when I am regressed it is something that I started out of my want and joy to do it and at 
at this point managing those accounts is seeming more like a chore and I don't like that and I'm not going to force myself to be active on there and I'm not going to force myself to post on there if it doesn't feel right. The reason I've been consistently active on YouTube is because this is the only place right now where it feels right. It makes me feel so good to share my regression and all these things with you. I have such a lovely community of you people on here that support me. Even though I have my comments and ratios off, I see you. Trust me, whenever I post on the community tab, I always get a bunch of replies and that kind of support means the world to me. And I'm going to actively continue to be posting here even if I'm not on my Instagrams because it's just stressing me out and it's weird. I got off on a little bit of a tangent there, but I want to bring it back to the not regressing and it sucking. I wrote down some things here that I think are going to help me deal with not regressing as much and it might help you deal with it if you're also going through a similar slump. I think one of the main things is that you need to kind of accept that right now it just might not be the right time for you to regress. There might be other things that your brain is telling you that you need to focus on and that regression just needs to take a back seat for now. And as much as that does absolutely suck and you can feel how much it sucks, it it's okay. It's okay that you can't regress the way that you used to or can't regress the way you're going to in the future. It's okay to take some time in your life to be completely focused on your adult life and not pay mind your regression. And that's something that's hard for me because regression is such a big part of me and who I am and my personality. But there are absolutely times where it's okay that I'm not paying attention to my regression. I'm doing other things. I'm getting involved in adult interests that I haven't been involved with before. And I've been doing adult things that adult Riley likes. And that's really nice because there was a while there where regression kind of consumed me. That's another thing. I think I'm going from one extreme to the other extreme and that eventually I'll be back at a happy medium. There was a while there where my regression was like who I was and that was the only thing about me that I cared about and I acted as if my regression was my entire personality and that's not true. But I think I went from that extreme to the I can't regress, I'm not regressing at all, it sucks, and I kind of don't want anything to do with it at this moment, but I also do, and I'm mad, and I miss it, but it's just a weird feeling and sense of emotions. But I feel like me, and you all included, should let ourselves, when our body and mind is telling us we need to, we need to let ourselves take a break from regressing. And this is one of the things I know, because I've been through slumps like this before. They haven't lasted this long, but I have been through slumps like this before and I know that when I get to the point where I'm able to regress it again I am going to appreciate it so much I'm going to be so happy that I can regress and my regression is going to be joyful and I'm going to enjoy it so much more than I did right before this rut started and I think that's something that's very true with all of us so just you gotta give ourselves time. We gotta give ourselves time. It's okay to not be regressing every day, which is hard because I used to regress for at least a little while every day and I haven't regressed in, it's been about a week since I filmed my last video and that's the last time I regressed and it kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's just the way things are right now. What I do enjoy though and what I want to be very clear to you guys is that all of my videos are genuine regression. Whenever, it's almost almost like as soon as I sit in front of this camera and I'm in my onesie and stuff, it's like something washes over me and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm small, this is great, I get to share this video with everybody, it's gonna be amazing. Because I don't want you to think that my videos are ingenuine because they're not. I am absolutely regressed when I film all of my videos for this channel because it is my regression channel after all. But even just sitting in front of the camera and filming regression videos like makes me feel small and it's good. But right now that's like the only thing making me feel small and that's not good. And the last thing I have written down, I kind of covered everything in a big jumbled mess, is that this rut probably will not last forever. I know it feels like it will. I know it feels like it's been forever since you've regressed and it feels like it's gonna be forever until you can regress again. But there will come a day. Maybe you'll wake up, maybe you'll be sitting there doing some adult thing and you're like, you know what? My brain is in baby mode. And you'll be able to regress again and once you are, it's gonna feel amazing. So yeah, 
let yourself take a break from regression. It's okay to take a break from regression. Make sure you tell yourself that it's okay and it's okay to be focused on your adult things and that this probably won't last forever. That's kind of just what has been on my mind recently. And I wanted to come on and talk to you guys as an adult about that because I think it's something that a lot of us go through periods of. Now, I will be filming that Q&A video that you guys thought I was filming next week. Got a lot of good questions for it. I'm really excited to answer them all. It's going to be so fun. I can already, like, I'm thinking about it and my brain is like, ooh, you're getting small, but you're wrapping up the video. So if I get to be small after I'm done filming this video, hallelujah will appreciate that. If you guys want to see more age regression content from me, you can subscribe to this channel. We are so heckin' close to 10,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I wanted to thank you guys so much for being there and supporting me along this wonderful journey for us. If you want to see more sit-down adulty videos of mine, my main channel and my vlog channel are linked in the description box. And I would recommend you follow me on my socials, but I haven't really been on, so you don't have to. I hope this video made sense and I know I was an adult through it, but I hope you still enjoyed it. I love you guys a lot and I will see you next week. Goodbye.